Welcome back to Let's Play of Europe Universalis 4. Uh, the person unable to pronounce it names is me, Perry. And I'm Gab. And we're continuing our Randomonian campaign here in the late 17th century, 1676. So, here we go. And it's a new session, so alliance patterns should change. Yeah, there we go. And also, we have oftentimes forget what we were doing. Yeah, as always. Yeah, my rivals. Ugh. I click to change rival. I can't. Boo. Let's see. Wars. Wars, wars, wars. Remember, war. War never changes. Sucks. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, the game loves me. Look at Brandenburg and their heir. Or, or rather, on one mark there. Holy, but. No, sorry. Go, go ahead. Look at Brandenburg. Uh, um, just, sorry, I just have one of my armies get destroyed. Oh, okay. sorry. Yeah, on one mark death. Succession war between Russia and Utrecht. That'll be fun. Yeah, so basically, they become a union partner under you, and I'd be dragged in to contest it. Damage this one of my entire armies. And he's 38, so it could actually happen. Good for him. Good for you. No, no, I mean, just again, that's, I've got some problems right now. My East Asia is larger than I'd like, in some respect. For that matter, on Commonwealth. On Monarch Death, succession war between Utrecht and Russia. So basically, they become a union under me. And I'll fight, fight, fight you for them. So yeah, the game is really trying to get us to in, get a dub war. It's no, he's just 25 though, so 26. That, you know, that's less, a lot less likely. Yeah, but the other, other one is 38, so we'll see. It's going to get interesting. But yeah, are the rebels, I suppose, or? Oh yeah, no, it's... Uh... I had a 40k stack of ripples spawning on a, a damaged army. Ouch. Let's see, I'm colonizing... ...and that. What? What's that? Oh, bugger all. Are you telling me I have to colonize? Ah, uh, colonial region. That's Louisiana, but that's. Oh, ugly. Okay. No, in that case, no. Oh, uh, free call the guy. Uh. Let's see. Come on, little army, get there. Okay, there we go. Stress level declining. <laughs> Uh. 
Almost lost a second army to that same group of rebels, though. Rebels dealt with. <laughs> Check. Army expenditures can be turned way down. Rebuild some money. Scandinavia. Okay, I'm suffering. Suffering grave trade problems because Scandinavia has embargoed me. And they're not my rivals. But I can't rival them. Well, let's just destroy them then. <laughs> yeah, I of know. Of course, that, that's, the that's my next step. That's just, wait, what? No. I'm the nice Russians. Well, then make them like you then. I'm not that nice. <laughs> Well, their army is basically stuff stuck down in the Rhinelands. And 40k stack there. And if you want to avoid France, I, they're guaranteeing Brandenburg. No, I'm fine. So, yeah. I kind of have an idea of what I want to get done, so I think I'm fine for now. Or you could just move your trade capital to something further back and... Well, less than the, less than the loss, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you could. Uh, a trade capital, oh, it's, yeah. Either you, you can move to the White Sea for that moment if you want to risk that, or you can move to, back to Kazan, but then you'd lose all the trade from Kiev, which you probably don't have much control of. Yeah. I don't know. Well, um, I need to. Among other things, I need to go ahead and crush the Commonwealth since they're half the trade power at that spot. Yeah. I guess you don't have a merchant in Samarkand either because. Yeah, that trade isn't flowing your way. No, actually, I have. I don't know. Why do I have one? Oh, that's, that's left over. So now I can give them more money. Shh. No, I had a trade. I had a trade. Or a merchant in Kazan forwarding trade along, and it's like, um, <laughs> it can only go one. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm I, think I should probably check my own before I, uh, I mention this. I have a lot of odd merchants around. You're steering there. You're steering straight to. Is it beneficial to go through several centers of. Center, several nodes to boost the value or should I just send yeah. it directly yeah. I've always favored direct over indirect but yeah, I'm basically looking at um, the uh, West, uh, Chesapeake Bay node if I should send it up to Gulf of St. Lawrence and then through North the North Sea or straight across because I don't yeah, know I if there's an added bonus for going I don't think it, you, it grows if it goes through more places, so I don't know. I thought it did. I thought it was some 10% mm. added value or something, I don't know. Mm, maybe. Well, let's see. How are we doing tickle players? Non par, okay. You spread way too fast, Frenchy. Uh. Is he causing problems? No, I just decided to go and create French Canada. Ouch. So, yeah. It's 
light issue there. So I'm trying to curb him, but... Yeah. At some point I'll have to fight him, and I have built some nice little forts. So he'll be slowed down a little, at least. Mm hmm Well, let's see. Trade goods. Come on, little colony. Finish growing. Then I can smash. I need more gold. Let's see. You're allied to... Show me. In that case, let's get going. You need gold, huh? Well, gold provinces, but I'll take, you know, gold of any sort. But. Uh. Hmm. Actually, let's go there. I just want to see if that changes anything. I assume the successions are... No, not for Utrecht. Uh, yeah, Brandenburg has gotten an air. Boo. The Commonwealth does not have an air yet, but that'll happen. Uh, we can always get lucky. Oh, God. Come on. Is there two provinces here? Why is it thinking that it's short to go through this? Because the game is stupid. Yeah, the, the two pro the, the enemy, uh, yeah, the, the fox has two provinces <laughs> that are adjacent to each other, but the pathfinding wants to go through a third neighboring province to both of them. It thinks that's the faster route. Why in God's earth is it doing that? I have no idea. I know that the, the uh, speed is different from the province to province, but that kind of seems odd. Yeah. So it seems very odd. I would not have thought there was any cases where that was. Well, that would be the case. Where it would be, where it would be faster to go through a third province. Eh, maybe I'm seeing this wrong. Ooh, a hundred. hundred. spy power with France. What should I do? Um, there's not much I can do. I'm gonna slander your merchants. Take that. Ow! Ooh! Ah, wait, what? Yeah, I slandered their merchants. The Ming army, based at Beijing, has 31,000 artillery. Okay. 16, it's 16 regiments of infantry, 8 regiments of cavalry, and 31 regiments of cannon. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. I wish I could build an army that wouldn't attrition away, that's that size. Mine would melt. Yeah, I did it again. It went through. <laughs> yeah, so the fastest route from Soto to Nisipeng seems to be going through uh, Misa Misaga. Okay. So you're being. So you're saying you're being outfoxed? Ah. Uh, uh, ooh. Discontent. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Scandinavia oh, decided to give me three plus three revolt risk. Thank you so much, Scandinavia. Is so discontent. Yeah, Commonwealth's been throwing that at me. Yeah. That's why they they've become a permanent recipient of counter espionage. Hey, I can found an Indian trading company. Cool. <laughs> My goodness, have you already gotten to India? Nope. <laughs> oh, you just no. have the decision. <laughs> the decision, yeah. It's because it's because I just landed uh, a colonist on the Kuril Islands. <laughs> that's that's amusing. Okay. That is amusing indeed.
I have an extra merchant. Where can I cost? Ooh, I know I need to cost strafe. You need to go for Canada. You can go for Alaska. Russia should, Russia should have Alaska. I agree. Or is first they, they, first. They, they don't. It's not an independent uh, colonial region anymore, is it? Yeah, no, it is a colonial region. Alaska? I thought you merged it with something else. Okay. Nope. I just was looking at that a minute ago. It's still it's still oh, qualified cool. as one. Yeah, so it does. Okay, I thought they merged it with... Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, right. I'm thinking about the tray nodes. Oh, no. Yeah. Shawnee, do you have something for me? Maybe. Ah, that more apps, sure. And trade power. No, not trade power? Okay. Just your money then. As for you, Mr. Fox, you're gonna, you're gonna die. You are gonna die. And then we have the problem with Miami. Where the hell is Miami? There you are! I couldn't see you down, down there in the dark. <laughs> I could actually, okay. I could offer Miami a vassalization. Well, do it. Nah. Just gonna conquer, just, just gonna eat him. You know you want to. No, I do not want that. Okay, do, do, do. Uh, not unconditional surrender. That would be kind of stupid of me. Uh, da, da, da. Dum, da, dum, dum. Dum, da, dum, 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 Are you kidding me? Uh, I can't vas. I can vassalize the Livonian order if I reach 190, and I can reach 182. Ouch. So what's... yeah. Aggressive expansion ticking down or anything like that? No, no nothing ticking down. Um, nope, it's, I lose 20 because I'm a heretic compared to them and I lose 8 from border friction. So either of those... I've given them military access. Let's see... Yeah, nothing else I can do. That's crazy. So close. I would say it's frustrating, maybe not crazy. No, yeah, it's it's, it's incredibly aggravating. So I have to ask, are there any Dutch city names out in California? I'd ask for no particular reason. Dutch city names out here? Yeah. Well, there's some. You get, you get all... You get, I mean, probably the biggest one is probably Solvang. But the, uh, I'm just trying to, think, trying to think ahead of time, because I'm probably going to get a colonial California eventually. And I'm... Yeah. Wondering what to name it, it. It's a complete hodgepodge out here. I mean, a lot of the ones to the, in the south or on, along the coast are, are Spanish, but <laughs> it then becomes everything named after local settlers, Americans, Russians, Germans. There's, there's neither rhyme nor reason to it uh, a, in a lot of places. I think I've settled on something already. If I can remember okay. it, if I can remember it when it becomes. Well, let's not let's not talk crazy here. I'm always talking crazy. That's what I do. All right. Well, then carry on. That's actually a. F My goodness, you attract you at a fort here. Huh? Cool. I'm not supposed to. 
You could go and defend it, you know? No? Okay. Not interested in that, eh? Okay, I guess I'll better go help. Crush the rivals. Yeah, I'm just removing a few tags here and there. So, Frenchy, stop colonizing near me, huh? I suppose it's just as well. I had no idea whether to go on, whether they'll colonize otherwise. Ah, uh. ah, oh, Britain. Why must you be so? Huh? Wait. So, Britain. Oh, why, why didn't you realize so that? What? The Comoros Islands are a separate zone. I didn't. I did not realize yeah. that. They broke. They broke them off finally. Well, that was kind of a downer for me. What was a downer to find out? Or is it a downer to find out? Because the Britain has already settled there. Oh, oh there, that would be a downer to find out. Huh. Plus 15, that's okay, I guess. Ah, uh, that's the full cost, huh? Uh. Sure, Luba, military access. Sure, you too, Britain. Go kill the Netherlands. So the Netherlands decided to attack the Congo. And on Congo's side... Yeah, both France, <laughs> France and Brunswick joined that war. Yeah, I think you're dead, Congo. I think you're dead. Bongo, 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 in the Congo, 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 and Africa. Too much fallout. Okay, navies. You can go to New, New York. Armies, rather. Uh, armies, navies. Oh, playing Stellaris and then playing EU4. That basically messes with my head when it comes to <laughs> armies versus navies. Oh, come on. We're all fun. So, first of all, Miami. You nice put together a very, ni a very nice navy in EU4 uh, in Solaris earlier. Poor, <laughs> poor Fallen Empire didn't know what hit them. Interesting to see if they can actually hold on to that. Not on to what? Yeah, basically, uh, Huron straddles two colonial regions, so I'm not sure if the state can hold. Oh, what do you think will happen? That'll return it and, and release a state. That's what they usually say when they, oh, we can't hold on because they couldn't core it and then just return it to whomever. Um, yeah, you, sir. Uh, yeah, do that. Sadia, wherever that is. Sadia is in India. Mm-hmm. It's More a West landlocked country. Landlocked country in the middle of India. Okay. All right. Ming Westernized, didn't they? Oh yeah. Ah, oh, Britain. Why must you go there? Ah, yeah, well. And why do I not have a... Oh. Alright, I actually picked administ administ administrative ideas. Blah. How do you really feel about this? Blah. Put, put it in your own words. Blah. Ah. No, I wanted them oh. so I could get adaptive, so... And I also want to push to finish because... Good ideas. Once. Okay, at least I've tied it up somewhat. 
and yeah, the Billy Amania hasn't. Oh, they have that one too. My goodness, Colonial Louisiana is huge. Oh yeah, that's the size. That's the size of the Louisiana Purchase. Yeah, yeah, but uh, still, that makes it hard to just eat all of the natives up there. You know, America, America ran away with that purchase in terms of what we got for it. All of arrival is just no, that's not gonna happen. Castilla probably still a bit upset about my betrayal. Go figure. Let's see, Brandenburg, Bohemia, Bavaria, Bavaria. Why did I do that? Ah, B Bulgaria exists. How'd that happen? I don't know. I just saw. Yeah, in central Greece. Oh, um, that must have been that. That was Byzantine at one point, so maybe it flipped. I have no idea, but yeah. I would pay large money for some sort of event to come through and temporarily boost my, my diplomatic reputation. Oh, just so you can get your little neighbor. Just so I could get my little neighbor. It's gonna be 84, another four years before I can secret it. Uh, oh, no. oh, yeah. Too many cowards, boo. Okay. I'm yeah, England, how do you feel about this war of yours? Deathfall. What I really wonder is if, if any of those ports are going to have the naval capacity to get down to... ...down to deal with Congo. Then it'll just time out. It'll time out, there will be much sadness. Hmm. <laughs> you win. I think I found another vassalization target. We'll see if it works. Guang Parang. Yeah, there aren't many non-Westerners left, I think. Uh, no, gonna, we're good. It's going to be interesting to see the new technolo technology system. Still would rather see a new combat system, but that's just me. Yeah, I can't really argue against that, but... Uh, we get what we get. And no more. The Hearts of Iron system is pretty awesome. I think they just need to make that one their standard. Let's see, where do I see tech? Economic. There we go. Technology. It doesn't what? tell me. Okay, so you're still Indian. You're westernized. No, Ming's caught up with me army-wise. That's the present. Permanent navies, eh? No. The Mamluks. Really? Okay. Hmm. Ah, so Portugal. I might have to attack you at some point. The way things are going. And I keep getting the whole get a base in India stuff. Not particularly interested. I do think Vijayanagar is a bit too solid. And I should I really should have gone with them when we started this game. I think I would have had Probably would have been it would have been less stressful for you. 
Oh, yes. Part of the problem now is everything is blobbed. Oh, yeah. Speaking of blobbing. Oh, dear. That time. Yeah. My navy is pretty much... Oh, my goodness. I did not treat my navy well. Okay. Sent them out on a long trip and then... Uh, yeah. At any rate, yeah, you, short break. Did, did you kill your navy? Uh, not exactly, but they're down to 55%. So. Ouch. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. Yeah, we'll be right back.